Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different venue, for a different venue, I have a different background because I am um, going to introduce you to the two little monsters, AKA Bubbles and Mittens. So they're my two kittens, and then you will see on the video in a sec the, um, the all four kittens, because there's another two out of my parents' house. I was hoping to pick them up and show them to you, but I don't want to wake them up because they're like demons. Um, when they get too hyper and they've only been asleep for a little while, they're kind of awake, kind of not. So I'm just going to bring you down and show them to you now as they're on the, um, the chair. So everyone, this is Bubbles on the left and Meet Mittens. So they're about nine, ten weeks old now. And I am fostering Mittens, who is the sleepy girl there on the right hand side, for my sister and her boyfriend who will be... Um, moving into their new house that they bought later on this year. Um, they can't take her until then. And then the little scallywag on the left is Bubbles. And she is my baby. She'll be staying here with me. Um, they're so cute when they're like this though. Because when they're hyper, they're like nuts. They're literally insane. <laughs> Mittens looks a little bit freaked out there. <laughs> She's playing up for the camera now. <laughs> right in you, baby. So the whole litter of four um, were torty as well. One was a calico, which is in the same family, but um, there's three torties and a calico, and they're just so cute. These two are the darkest, though. They look very similar. I'm going to leave them alone now because I want them to sleep for a while. Seriously though, how cute is Mittens? Look at her little paw. <laughs> and yes, that's their poo box in the background. <laughs> they wouldn't go in with the lid on, so I have to get them used to it first. And I'm back upstairs again because I didn't want to wake them up. I wanted them good to go to sleep because they'd been hyper all morning. But I have loads of uh, video to show you now from like the day we got them. Um, when there was all four of them playing in the house of my Cullen, which is my parents' house. And um, they were so cute, even though they've grown loads since then. I don't know why I'm whispering, they're downstairs. Um, but I'll definitely show you my two monsters again soon once they're awake and more hyper on camera. Um, yeah, so have a look at these babies and then afterwards I'll show you some of the jewelry bits I have available on my Etsy store.
And now for the jewellery portion of the video, um, I already did a video or mentioned in a video about selling jewellery on Etsy. It's one of my favourite things to do now. I literally have spent any spare money I've had on it and anything I made on my Depop I spent on it as well so it's kind of like an expensive hobby but I love doing it but um I have some new bits up anyhow this is my own this is one of the reject ones that's why I'm wearing it um like one of the I kind of messed up one of these myself and they're the only ones I'm keeping um this isn't mine but I'll show you some of the ones I have I just didn't really want to wear the things that I'm selling because it's not really fair on you if you're paying like you know full price for something that's been sold as new so um this is available this is fake or faux suede is what it's uh, described as and um obviously it's vegan friendly because i do have real leather chokers as well so um i've actually a really big selection of chokers on the site at the moment so it's xc.com and my store name is Shion jewelry that's kind of the name of my little jewelry thingy me jiggy um and it's just all the kind of jewelry that i love so i love a mixture of like grunge and kind of dainty which i tend to go for like girly grungy girly yeah if you know what i mean so i like my leather like strapped um chokers and i also like the more dainty like silver stuff everything on the website is high grade silver sterling silver i don't use any brass or everything is nickel free i don't use any cheap jewelry just because um, our cheap materials because i am very sensitive personally and i wanted to use stuff that i'd be able to wear and um stuff that doesn't tarnish so everything is 925 sterling silver um anything that's gold plated is gold plated with 24 karat gold and anything that's gold plated with the rose gold is 18 karat gold um and there's black rhodium as well so you can be fairly confident in that you're getting like good good quality stuff and um yeah so some of my favorite bits would be the cat things of course the most recent uh choker i made which is very very like this one you'll see it here now has uh, one of the rosette like sterling silver rosette pendants hanging off it with um a rose gold kitty charm which is absolutely gorgeous i love these charms i definitely want to get more of them again because of course i'm cat crazy and anyone else who loves cats tends to like these as well um and then there's a few of these charms available in bracelets so they're all up on the site as well they seem to be like some of the most popular things and then here are some of the chokers available so like there's a big mix of like plain chokers um vegan or leather and then brown black yeah and there's like different lengths and stuff is available as well and um i should be able to do more custom length stuff in the future once i can afford to buy more products or more kind of um source material and then um and then there's quite a few like dressy bits there as well so it's not all like casual grunge you know you can definitely dress some of these up or you can wear them down um i like to mix kind of casual with more statement pieces um depending on my mood and yeah i think there's some really nice bits up there so i just wanted to share with you and let you know that there are loads of new bits up on the store i have another two orders coming in so i'll be making more um thicker um chokers soon and like with different material as well which will be cool and um i'll also be making more chains so there's going to be a good few more things added on soon but i just wanted to share it with you a few people are asking i am um, tend to do updates on my snapchat so you can follow me there and if you're interested in the kittens as well definitely follow me on snapchat because i'm like gone nuts snapchatting them i mean i'm never in snapchat anymore it's all about the cats and um i do put up a lot of pictures of them on my instagram as well so you can check that out as well and that's it for now guys that's my little update the kittens and the um jewelry because i think it's a bit more of a uh positive update than the last time because the last time it was me talking about poor princess who passed away who was my 13 year old cat she passed away last month and um these kittens actually came from the same house as uh, princess did so that was really nice to get them from there we actually thought that it was princess's brother who was their father but it wasn't but it doesn't matter it's still from the same family same house and um i didn't actually know that princess's brother had died a couple of years ago as well there was another cat very similar to him that i was mixing them up with 
but either way, um, I'm, I'm, I think it's nice to get them from the same place as we did before. We're kind of keeping that alive and we were determined to take the whole litter. As soon as I met them, I was like, we can't leave them behind. So that's why we took all four between us. So that's it for now, guys. I will see you all very soon for another video. Um, there will be a review of this guy by Zoeva. It's the Zoeva Black Box coming up very, very soon. And um, another kind of um, product videos are coming soon as well. Um, I want to do underrated product that I saw dramatic Mac doing the last day, so I thought it was a really good idea. And again, I don't know why I'm talking so low, because normally I talk way louder than this. Um, but yeah, that was a very long goodbye. See you guys, take care.